Today, we have an interesting question on the board. We are asked to find the value of x in square root of 3 over 2 raised to the power of root x equals to 4 over 9 to the power of 1 over root x. How will you approach the, uh, the question if you encounter this in the exam? Okay? The first thing that it is very important to do is that set root x, let root x equals to a letter, maybe y. Do you understand? So, the equation can be written as square root of 3 all over 2 raised to the power of y equals to 4 all over 9 raised to the power of 1 over y. You can see, right? Okay, now, do you know that square root of a over b equals to a over b raised to the power of 1 over 2, right? So, therefore, that means that square root of 3 over 2 can be written as 3 all over 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by y. Do you understand? So, here I'm going to have now, 4 over 9 can be written as three, uh, 2 over 3. 4 over 9 equals to 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2, right? So, I'm going to have 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2, then put the bracket and raised to the power of 1 over y, right? Now, don't forget these laws of indices. If you have a raised to the power of b raised to the power of c, this can be written as a raised to the power of b times c, right? So, therefore, if I have 3 over 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of y, this can be written as 3 all over 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times y. That is what? y all over 2. Do you understand? This will be equals to, now, 2 over 3 raised to the power of, now, 2 times 1 over y. This is what? 2 all over y. Are you getting it? Okay, now, don't forget that if you have a over b, a over b is equals to 1 over b over c, right? Like, the inverse of b over c will give you, oh, sorry, the inverse of b over a will give you a over b, do you know? So, therefore, I can rewrite 2 over 3 as 1 over 2 over 3. I mean, 1 over 3 over 2, do you understand? I can rewrite this 2 over 3 as 1, 2 over 3 equals to 1 over 3 over 2. Do you understand? That is, the inverse of 3 over 2 will give me 2 over 3, right? So, I'm going to have... 3 over 2 raised to the power of y over 2. This will be equals to, now instead of 2 over 3, I'm going to put 1 over 3 over 2. And don't forget that 1 over 3 over 2 can be written as 3 over 2 raised to the power of minus 1. Do you understand? Because the inverse, the inverse of a is what? a raised to the minus 1. That means the inverse of 3 over 2 is equals to 3 over 2 raised to the power of negative 1. So therefore, I'm going to have 3 over 2 raised to the power of negative 1 raised to the power of 2 over y. Do you understand? So, I'm still going to make use of this law. Are you getting it? So, I'm going to have 3 all over 2 raised to the power of y all over 2 equals to 3 all